Hi everyone, my name is Michelle and this is my channel Sewing Bunny. Thank you for joining me in my video today, which is all about my time at the Stitch Festival. Now, this was last week that I went to the Stitch Festival and I went on the Saturday. And I didn't record a video on the Sunday because I'll be perfectly honest, I was shattered. <laughs> it was such a long day, it was a wonderful day but oh my goodness, I just needed Sunday to recover. So um, I'm sorry it's been a week since um, I've been, but I thought I could share with you my experience and what I bought there. So uh, as I say, I went on the Saturday. Um, I got my train about half past seven in the morning. I didn't get home till about half past 11 night. <laughs> so it was a very, very long day. But um, I met up with um, a few friends at the train station and then we walked over to the Business Design Centre in Islington, where we then grouped up with many, many more people. Now, I'm not going to go through names and things because I met with so many people, I'm going to forget somebody's name. So, um, yeah, just take my word for it that there was so many people there, so many Instagrammers, YouTubers, um, like sewing bees, uh, just so many people um and um, i did try and get as much kind of like pictures and things as possible but when i look back through my pictures i realize i've missed pictures with so many people that i met um on the day so <laughs> yeah that was just so many people it was wonderful it was very very busy um, I mean, don't get me wrong, going to the Stitch Festival or um, the, the Knitting and Stitching shows, things like that, if you've been to them before, you'll know how busy they can be. And on Saturday at the Stitch Festival, it was rammed. Um, I think it was at one point, I remember going, um, I think we'd had like a cup of tea, I think, in the cafe and um, went downstairs to try and do a little bit of uh, shopping and you just couldn't get to hardly any of the stalls or anything. Um, but yeah, we were there all day. So we actually managed to have a little bit of time in the morning and a little bit of time in the afternoon when it was a little bit quieter to be able to kind of go through things. I also wanted to make sure that I said hello to um, a few of the stall holders as well. I wanted to make sure that I can actually say hello to them. And I didn't want to interrupt them when it was really, really busy because um, I know they were rushed off their feet. So yeah, that's the only thing I will say is if you do want to go to one of these um, sort of shows the Saturday you see the probably the most people but it is really busy I think at one point I did just have to kind of walk away I think and just kind of have a little bit of breathing space <laughs> um, but it was fantastic so what did I actually pick up when I was there? So I um, didn't actually go mad I only bought a few things I bought two fabrics a little bit of haberdashery uh, so I was very very good now um, probably a few reasons why is number one I was talking to so many people for me it was much more of a social event than a shopping event um, so yeah I really enjoyed speaking to lots of people and um, yeah I must admit I didn't manage to get round sort of everywhere I would say I tried to go through as many stalls and things as I could but um, yeah I probably could have bought more if it was a bit quieter to be perfectly honest um, but I'm really happy with what I've got and uh, yeah, it was well within my budget so that was good so uh, let's start off with, um, so one of my favourite little independent businesses is um, Little Rosy Cheeks. Now I picked up three packs of sewing labels from the lovely Victoria. Now, as I mentioned before, I do like to occasionally kind of see if I can speak to a couple of my favourite store holders and Little Rosy Cheeks is one of those. I love speaking to Victoria. And it's so funny now, she now knows whenever I see her at one of these shows, I always ask for a selfie um, with her. And she instantly knew, even before I got my camera out, she was like, oh, we need to have a picture. <laughs> so that was really nice. I love Victoria. She's such a lovely lady. And I love her sewing labels. So I picked up some sewing labels plus something else. But I'll just go through the labels first. Now, the first ones, these are sweary labels. So um, I will cover up the swear word. Um, but you might be able to get the gist um, from that. So it's uh, this took abso bleeping lutely ages. So I was like, yes, I think I do need those. <laughs> they did make me giggle. So I was like, yes, I picked those up. 
and then um, some of the other ones. I saw these ones, I think these ones are new. Oh, sorry, a bit of reflection there. So these ones are Swing It, Shake It, and Move It, Made It. Uh, I am, well, I was an absolute massive fan of the Spice Girls back in the day. Um, I mean, I still still love their music, but um, yeah, I saw those and I was like, yep, yeah, had to get those. Instantly, I was just singing in my head. <laughs> And then I saw these ones as well, which are You Do You. And I really liked the teal and the pink colour. I thought that was really, really nice. And uh, Victoria threw in a freebie as well. Uh, this lovely orange label that says I made this. That's really, really pretty. And then when I was um, looking at the labels, um, I noticed she had a little bit of um, sort of haberdashery bits just underneath. And uh, some of the, my friends that I was with, um, they saw these and they're like, oh my goodness, Michelle, these just were made for you. <laughs> and I was looking, I was like, yes, I have to get them. And when I, um, when I picked them up, Victoria said, oh, you're the first person to buy them. And I was like, well, I had to, didn't I? Uh, they are snips in the shape of a cat. And a black cat at that. <laughs> so some of you may know, I'm just gonna open it. Um, I have got a black cat called Misty. And um, yeah, so when I saw these little snips, I thought I have to get them, the little black cat. And you can see you've got part of the scissor here and then this part of the tail, it's so sweet. And then yeah, little snips. So I thought, yep, yeah, had to get those, too cute to resist. So yeah, very, very happy with those. And then the next place uh, that I will share with you is again, one of my favorite independent businesses and that is Ethel and Joan. I love speaking to Louise. Again, she's one of those store holders that I have to go up to and say hello and get a picture with. Um, she's absolutely wonderful. I love speaking to Louise. Um, and I was looking through um, her buttons and her earrings and things. I've got quite a few pairs of her earrings because I love her earrings. And I noticed that she had this new colour. Um, and I just thought, oh, I had to pick them up. So immediately said, oh, Louise, I need these. So um, they are a pair of earrings. I did get earrings and buttons, but I'll show you the earrings first. They are these, and they are this lovely sort of purple with this marbly sort of bluey green minty. I, oh, I love it. They are so, so beautiful. So I picked those up because... I love an earring. I absolutely love my earrings. And I love um, earrings that match my outfits as well. And I do have quite a lot of that sort of like minty sort of green colour. And I thought it would be lovely to wear those. So I've got a bit of reflection coming in from my window. So you might not be able to see the colours too well. But I absolutely love them. I love the size of them as well. So very, very happy with those. And I loved them so much that I had to get matching buttons. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the buttons again in that lovely purpley greeny marbly print um, and you can see they they match very well with the earrings so um, I thought yep yeah, when I make myself a little blouse or dress with these um, buttons that I'll be able to match it up with the earrings so yeah very happy with those I love the colours of these I just think they're absolutely beautiful um, and I think this was like a new um, design, I think, that she had um, done um, just before the show. So, yeah, it was lovely to uh, pick those up and obviously say hello to Louise as well. Um, and that was everything sort of haberdashery wise that I got. Um, and then I just picked up a couple of fabrics. Now, before I show you the fabrics that I um, bought, I will actually show you a fabric that I was actually kindly given. And this was by the absolutely wonderful Sarah, who is So Sarah Style. She's got a YouTube channel and she's on Instagram. And um, I have met with Sarah a couple of times now. Um, I went on a little sewing retreat with her um, and a few others. And she is just absolutely wonderful. And <laughs> she messaged me, um, uh, I think it was yeah, a few, a few weeks ago now, um, saying that she was at the Birmingham uh, rag market and she saw a fabric that she had to pick up for me. <laughs> I offered to give her some money for it, but she refused. She's just, oh, she's such a sweet, sweet, sweet person. And um, she bought the fabric along with her. Um, and I 
this is what annoys me. I forgot to take a picture of both of us together. Um, as I say, there's just so many people there. That there's just times when I forgot to take um, pictures of um, some people. But if you're watching, Sarah, thank you so much for this fabric. Honestly, it's just so, so, so wonderful. Um, so she picked out for me. I mean, she knows me very well. Um, but it is this. It's got cats on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's this lovely blue color it's it's almost like a sort of um uh sort of like an indigo sort of blue it's like a not quite navy but it's, it's a beautiful blue and it's got all these lovely cats on and they're like these Siamese cats so so beautiful and I'm absolutely amazed because I think she's got me I mean I think there's about like four or five meters I think here <laughs> there's absolutely loads of it and it is this beautiful, beautiful fabric. So it's um, reasonably sort of sheer, um, but because I've got so much of it, um, it would just make an absolutely beautiful dress. Sarah said to me that she can just picture me in um, the Friday Pattern Company Wilder gown in this. And I have made that pattern um, before. And do you know what? I think I'm going to go with her recommendation. And I think I am going to do something like the Wilder gown in it. Because, say, it's it's got that little bit of sheer to it. Because the Wilder gown has so many gathers um, and everything in it. Then a sheer fabric would be absolutely perfect because then I can just wear like a little slip under it if I wanted a little bit more coverage but um, I just thought that'd be beautiful because it is that sort of navy sort of bluey colour and the cats are sort of small enough not to be kind of too in your face and it's just beautiful honestly she's just the sweetest sweetest soul and I absolutely love that so yes so pleased with that. <laughs> On to the fabrics that I actually um, bought for myself. So the first fabric um, that I'll show you is um, one from Roy's Material World. Now I did um, have the um, opportunity to actually go to Roy's Material World in Leicester because it's uh, quite a big fabric shop over in Leicester when I went to the dressmakers ball last year. Um, and I have seen him a few times at the shows. He does make the journey. Um, and he's got so, so many fabrics. And I saw this one and I thought it was beautiful, but I wasn't 100% sure what to make. It was one of those things that I loved the fabric so much and I kept going, oh, I'll walk away. And I was like, but I just kept touching it and going, oh, I actually really, really like it. And I decided just to get a metre of it, just so that I could make myself a little cami top or a woven tee because... I didn't think it was quite suitable for me to be like a dress or something. So I just got a metre of it, but oh, I just I just couldn't walk away from it. It was this. And I know it's maybe a little bit autumnal sort of colours, but I just loved it. I loved those sort of oranges with the reds and the purples on this um, sort of white background. I just thought it was beautiful. And um, yeah, I just thought a little cami top or a little woven tee would be lovely. Now this was um, advertised as a non-crease viscose. Now it feels really beautiful and soft. It feels like, um, and almost, you can sort of almost see it, like a viscose twill, almost. It does almost have like a tiny bit of texture to it you probably won't be able to see it um but it's got a lovely lovely weight to it and that's why i kept picking it up and um you know i was because it said you know it was um it was sort of crease proof i was scrunching bits of it up and opening it up and uh, yeah i mean more or less true to um his word it is crease proof so i thought oh it'd be lovely and that's why i was like i just couldn't walk away from it and i thought i thought uh, it probably was a bit too too much maybe for me for a dress, but I thought for a top, it would be beautiful. So I've got a metre of it. It would be lovely, I think, as a little woven tee. I think maybe more of a woven tee than a cami top, um, because then, let's say, because it's quite autumnal colours, then it would be really nice to be able to wear like a cardigan sort of over the top, more for when it gets a bit cooler. But it's a lovely, lovely weight, beautiful. And uh, I think it was, uh, I think it was like £10 a metre. So I thought, yeah. I will get that and I just I love the colours of it I think it's so so beautiful so I was really pleased with that one so last but by no means least um, is my last fabric that I picked up now this is from Bonella Fabrics 
Um, now I must admit I hadn't heard of Bornella Fabrics. A couple of the ladies that I was with were like, oh yeah, yeah, we know them, bought lots from them um, and everything. So I, I wasn't actually aware of them. So um, yeah, I thought that would be really nice. So obviously a new business um, to me. And it was a lovely little stall um, and there was quite a few beautiful fabrics but instantly my eye just went over <laughs> to this fabric. I immediately picked it up. Now it was a bit more expensive than I would probably usually maybe go for. Um, it was 18 pounds a meter, but I kind of picked it up and I put it back and then <laughs> I picked it up again and just went, nah, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah I can safely say every single person that I showed this fabric to when I was at the show just kind of went oh Michelle that's that's such a you fabric I understand why you have to buy it <laughs> and it is this <laughs> of course it's got bunnies on it um but it's beautiful it's this lovely green fabric with these lovely spring flowers obviously it does have the little bunnies on but it's also got some little birds scattered around there as well it's just beautiful and this is a um a jersey interlock so it's kind of heavier than your i would say your jersey not quite as thick as um like a french terry um almost maybe sort of ponty weight but maybe a bit lighter I'm, I'm probably not explaining it um that well um but if i open it out this is it um so if i can maybe sh show you the weight as i say it's not um yeah i say it's slightly weightier than a jersey but not quite as much as like a french terry or something like that uh but it is lovely and the interlock i think if i can maybe kind of show you the back a little bit I'm not sure if you'll be able to see there but it is obviously interlocked together which gives it that um stretch i really like the fact that it doesn't go white when you stretch it as well it's a lovely quality fabric i got a meter and a half of it because um i just wanted to make a very very basic t-shirt dress i didn't want to break up this gorgeous design i just think it's absolutely beautiful perfect for spring so i thought you know during spring summer a t-shirt dress i mean i live in t-shirt dresses in the summer <laughs> i mean I, I have so many beautiful dresses in my wardrobe but when it gets warm i just reach for t-shirt dresses because they're comfortable they're easy to wear i love them and I just thought this would make a beautiful t-shirt dress. I love it so, so much. I love the colours. I love the fact it's got the rabbits on it and it is just so soft and snuggly. I love it. So, because it has got that nice bit of weight, it's not going to be um, obviously too lightweight. So um, yeah, it will be quite nice to probably wear in a lot of seasons. I could probably team it up with um, a pair of tights um, as well for um, autumn so yes that is my last fabric oh, I absolutely oh, I love that fabric so much um and then let's have a look on there it is oh, it's a rooted one there a hundred percent organic cotton so yeah absolutely beautiful love that so that was everything that I bought, but what I do have is a nice little uh, compilation of my videos and my photos that I took from the Stitch Festival, which I will pop in now. Um, I've got um, some videos of the catwalk, just kind of a few stalls. Now, the videos that I took were actually a lot later in the day. This was probably around half past three, four o'clock in the afternoon that I took some of the videos of some of the stalls because if I'd taken it during, you know, kind of anywhere between sort of 11 and two, then <laughs> you wouldn't have seen any of the stalls. So um, yeah, I took a little bit of footage when it was a bit quieter and also got lots and lots of pictures. Um, so yeah, look out for um, maybe some people from Instagram or YouTube that you may recognise. Um, and yeah, I'll leave it there. So take care, everyone. If you did enjoy the video, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, it would be lovely if you could. So take care. Bye. Thank you.